I look so cute close up. <laughs> Not. I'm gonna give you all some fitness and gym hacks to help you out while you're starting your fitness journey. Maybe you haven't started or you're about to start, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Hack number one, get yourself out there. Have confidence. I have so many men and women come to me and they say, you know, how did you get yourself in the gym? How did you start out? I had that fear just like anybody else and I went out and I did it. And I remember walking in and seeing like all the football players or buff guys just like standing in front of the mirror with all the dumbbells and I was supposed to use dumbbells in my workout and I was just like, no. And so I would just grab the little hand weights and like go pump them over there and hand weights. You're not gonna get far pumping little eight pound weights, okay? Go over to the dumbbells with the guys and show them up, okay? In life, you're always gonna have somebody that's going to sit there and judge you. Like, you can't avoid it. That's just how people are. Everybody started at the same place, and right now you're in the beginning, and that's okay. Nobody cares what you're doing in the gym. If anything, they're probably checking you out. Hack number two, don't follow diet fads. They are not gonna help you reach your goals. Sure, I mean, there's paleo, Whole30, keto what else uh there's intuitive eating intermittent fasting there's i i f y m if it fits your macros do what works for you whatever works best i used to track my macros and do i i f y m i tried intermittent fasting not for me now i just do intuitive eating which is basically eat when you're hungry stop when you're full i watch my carbs fats and proteins but i don't track my macros anymore just work out and eat healthy and you're gonna be okay. And hack number three, my fingers, like I can't do a three. I don't know, in the last video it was like this and now it's like kind of, sp oh, ooh, there we go, yeah. Find what makes you happy. Not everybody likes cardio or likes HIIT or plyo or resistance training. There's so, so many different types of training. Find what you like and what works best for you. It's not gonna be a maintainable lifestyle if you go in and dread the gym every day. Like me, I love weight training. I love HIIT training and I love plyometrics. I hate cardio. I hate it. So my cardio is HIIT. I also love yoga from time to time. So if you love yoga, go do that. You wanna do spin class? Go do spin class. Don't look at people on Instagram and YouTube, see what they're doing and think that you have to do that because it may not work for you. This is a lifestyle. It's not temporary. This is for your life, your style of life, lifestyle. <laughs> it's a freak, I'm so weird. So anyways, do find something that you like, stick with it, switch it up if you need to. There are some days where maybe all I wanna do is hit or plyometrics and there's other days where I wanna lift heavy just be happy hack number four it is great to have goals any successful person has small and large goals you should have small and large goals but don't hate on yourself if you don't meet them we have high expectations for ourselves and if we don't meet that goal then it just runs the rest of our day and we hate on ourselves don't do that if you don't meet that goal then just try better next time okay it's not the end of the world just be happy that you went in and did something, and then next time, shoot for that same goal. All right, hack number five. My hand is like, I have little chubby fingers, so I'm sorry to gross you out. Anyways, so number five, track your progress, meaning track your workouts and your meals. If you don't feel comfortable bringing a journal into the gym, which I've never brought a journal into the gym, some people do, I use the notes in my phone and then also my fitness pal. So you need to be tracking your workouts. If you're on a plan, then great, but you still need to be tracking the number of sets and reps that you're doing and at what weight. That way you can keep getting better. You can use apps. Um, I know one called Body Space, which is associated with bodybuilding.com. They have a really good tracking service. You can bring pen and paper into the gym. It's the easiest way, but personally, I don't like doing that. Just 
I mean, I use the notes in my phone. It's the easiest, it's right there. I control my music through my workout and I also log, so that's good. My fitness pal has a little section where you can add in your exercises. Just find something that works for you, but definitely track your progress. With meals, you could use Lifesum or My Fitness Pal. My Fitness Pal, more people are familiar with. There's also more options uh, for food to log in there. It's very user friendly, especially for a beginner. That is the easiest way to make adjustments in what you're eating and to see what needs to change or not change. All right, tip number six. What the freak? I'm just, I'm not gonna do numbers with my hands anymore. I I'm done doing it. Yeah, hack number six. This is mainly for my ladies in the gym. If you want a booty, and I mean the Tammy Hembro booty, like out to there booty, anything, you have to lift heavy. I'm sorry, like it's just in order to build, you have to lift heavy. I, when I first started out, I thought that if I went into the gym and I lifted heavy, that I was gonna get like really big and muscular and look like a man. Myth huge huge myth you are not going to bulk up like that it is actually so 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 hard to gain muscle i mean genetically some people like i can gain muscle really easy in my legs but i'm just saying you are not going to bulk up like a man just because you lift heavy if you want that booty you are gonna have to lift it heavy i mean like five to six reps close to your max. Kind of heavy. This one is especially for my beginners. Stay away from the scale and the mirror. I'm really bad about the mirror, not so much the scale. If you're hopping on the scale morning and night, I mean, it's going to fluctuate. I mean, especially with women, ant flow, mother nature, you're gonna bloat really bad. I mean, I do anyways. You're gonna have cravings, you're gonna hold on to water. The scale is just a number. If you look and feel good and you are happy, that's all that matters. The number does not matter, okay? It's okay to look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, ooh, you know, like you're feeling yourself. That's totally fine, but don't sit there and do what I did and fat shame yourself. Coffee break. I used to sit there and I'd be like, my boobs are small. Holy cow, I've got noodle arms. Why are my thighs so big? Why do I have so much cellulite? It's not okay. You need to look at yourself and be like, wow, I'm making progress. Who is this girl? Who have I become? The best way to track your physical progress, take pictures. Take front, back, side, upside down pictures, whatever you wanna do. And four weeks later, take the same pictures and look at progress that way. Hack number seven. Seriously, I needed this one when I was starting out. Holy freaking cow. Take baby steps, okay? Don't go all gung-ho in the beginning. You need to take it slow. It is great to pick up new things, push yourself out of your comfort zone, start your fitness journey, stick with it. But what happens to so many people is they get so excited on a healthy lifestyle that they go on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. It's great to have idols and go and get ideas and try new things, but when you're first starting out and you are taking on all of this new stuff at once, you are going to burn out. Okay, I was the person, I cleaned out my fridge, my cabinets, I went to the store, got all new stuff, went and got all of these new workout clothes, and I went hard in the gym. I mean like, <laughs> holy cow. And I ended up getting burnt out and I didn't want to do it anymore. You need to make a maintainable lifestyle for yourself. Meet little goals. Don't change your diet all at once. Okay, just implement healthier things in until you find a healthy balance that works for you. Because I want you to stick with it. I want you to live the healthiest life that you can. And you can't do that if you burn yourself out and you're not happy because that's not maintainable. Hack number eight. You need to find a free training session or maybe something on an app. There's the Sweat app by Kayla. On Body Space, tons of trainers put uh, workout plans on there for you guys. There's free content all over Instagram and on YouTube. Gosh, this thing is really itchy. <laughs> if you have the money to hire a personal trainer, hire one two to three times a week for maybe three months or permanently. That is a great, great, great way to get you into shape and help you learn the basics 
the basic knowledge of fitness and nutrition. If you don't have the money for a trainer, try to get a free session. Definitely find a workout plan online. There's tons of free ones that you don't have to spend your money on. Research about form to make sure that you're doing the exercises right and you don't hurt yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I'm not saying you have to ask the super buff guy next to you or maybe the girl that's like really, really intimidating, but the trainers and the people in the gym, that's their job. They're there to help you. Ask them how to use the machine. Ask them if they can show you how to do the movement. Ask for a spot if you're afraid to do it by yourself. Don't skip out on that movement or exercise just because you're scared, okay? You're in there to get better and they're there to help you, so don't be afraid to ask for help. All right, so hack number nine, have a plan beforehand. I don't know how many times I went into the gym without a plan and I, li I didn't even get a good workout in. Like I did a ton of stuff but I wasted so much time in between sets trying to figure out what to do next that I wasn't really like working out the sweat, I wasn't keeping my heart rate up, I wasn't exhausting my muscles or really getting anything out of it. So what I do now, I am a certified personal trainer, so I have experience and knowledge on how to make my own workouts. I write down my workouts in my notes on my phone before I go into the gym. I tell myself how much weight I'm going to do or try if I'm trying to hit a PR. I will write down the number of sets and the number of reps that I am trying to hit. And if it's a super set or if it's a circuit or if it's just by itself, I have a detailed plan. I know how long it's gonna take me to do that workout and I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So I just get in and out. It's that easy. This last gym fitness journey hack is mainly for the ladies out there that may be insecure, uh, a little scared or uncomfortable, or maybe your period is here. I still do these all the time. You can go look on my Instagram at Hope Fallon Fit. If you're having one of those days where you're just feeling a little bloated, that happens to me all the time, or maybe your butt feels a little deflated and you're not feeling as confident, what I like to do if that happens is I have a jacket or a hoodie and I just tie it around my waist, okay? Nobody's gonna be looking at your bum and also it covers up your tummy. But have self-love, but I mean, if you're just having one of those days, just go ahead and cover it up with a hoodie or a jacket. And if you're especially having one of those days where you don't want anybody looking at you or talking to you, that's me every day. Wear a hat, put your headphones on, maybe put your hood up and just do you. This is my interpretation of a dumbbell fly. That's wrong, don't do that. All right, lovelies, we have reached the end of the video, sadly. Do y'all notice that I got most of the wrinkles out? I would love to bring you all some more content. If you have suggestions, ideas, things that you would love to see or hear me talk about, go ahead, leave it in the comments below. And also, while you're at it, subscribe. Subscribe. I need to grow my page to keep helping you guys. It allows me the opportunity to reach more people. Go follow me at Hope Fallon Fit on Instagram. I post tons of free content and awesome motivational captions on there. If you like the video, you'll wanna see more, give me a thumbs up. Okay, it really, really, really does support my channel and help me out. I hope this video helped you out and maybe gave you a little bit more confidence to go out there and get in the gym. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.